who has who has done wonderful work on uh, perimembranous VSD. Number one was prophylactic steroids, and number two was uh, wire maintaining technique. Both were his contributions, and uh, it's wonderful to hear uh, Bhavesh uh, talking about it. Uh, you, my sir. colleague, Dr. Anand, will now give the case presentation of the first case. PowerPoint, big. Good morning. Uh, our next case is a 49-year-old female, mother of. Anand, you can present. Sir, is it audible, sir? So, uh, by the audible? time case details, we have Good panelists morning. here: Dr. Rita, Dr. Bavish, Dr. Prashan, and also Shushil, myself, Professor Jayrangnath, and Dr. Bavish Thakkar. So, we are uh, seven people here. Please go ahead with the presentation. Good morning to. Good. Good morning. Good morning to each one of you, Dr. Rita, Jai Ranganath, uh, Sushil. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Anand, go ahead, please. Our uh, next case is a 49-year-old female, mother of three children, who presented with complaints of class 2 exceptional dyspnea and fatigue for, for, for last one year. She had no palpitations, chest pain, syncope, or cyanosis, no significant medical history in the past, during childhood, and her pregnancies were uneventful. On examination, she is a thin-built lady who is hemodynamically stable and on examination had cardiomegaly, normal S1, a widespread S2 and uh, three basic ejection systolic murmur in pulmonary area. Her X-ray or uh, ECG showed normal sinus rhythm with a PR interval of 200 milliseconds and a QRS axis of 60 time. and RSR dash pattern in V1 with normal ventricular forces. Her uh, chest X-ray showed a C a CTR of 50% with prominent MPA and branch PAs and plethoric lung seals. And uh, now my colleague Dr. Pramod will show the echocardiography uh, in live. Good morning. Uh, now, uh, T big. Yeah. Now you can see the T images. Now. We are above the level of the atrial septum at zero degree. This is the RPA, this is the SVC, and this is the IOTA. I am advancing the probe further. Now we can see that we see the first defect here. It is located anteriorly and superiorly. And this is the color flow that is shunting left to right. And we can also see that the retroaortic rim, rim is deficient. Now I am advancing the probe further. When, the, when I am advancing further, we see the second defect here, which is located posteriorly and inferiorly. To get both, I am moving the angle color to 60 degree. In the 60 degree view, we can see both the, de both the defects, a larger anterior anto superior defect and a smaller posto inferior defect. And this is separated by a okay. tissue which is uh, quite thick and it is me. longer. System. The tissue in between was so measuring 13 mm when we measured in the OPD. Again, we can see it's around 12 mm here. And the antro superior defect measured around 19 millimeter and the posterior defect measured around 12 millimeter in the OPD. We can see both the defects now with the color. This is the antro superior and this is the postero inferior defect separated by a tissue that is larger than 7 millimeter. So we will close this with two defects. We can also see that the posterior, the posterior margin is present here. There is a posterior margin. Put and otherwise, other th so other than the retroaortic rim deficiency, other rims scale. are present. And it is feasible for device closure. Now over to Shukmar, sir. Uh, thank you, Pramod. Uh, uh, Nagishwar, now uh, we are uh, showing the can you make the big screen? Yeah. Uh, the, the patient is under anesthesia to facilitate a transesophageal echocardiography. And because the patient is on artificial ventilation, we decided not to do a QP, QS. But we are going ahead with the PA pressures. 
the pulmonary artery pressure is shown in blue color, uh, which is uh, around 29 by 8 with a mean of around 18. Uh, and the aortic pressure is close to 140 by 80 with a mean of 105. Uh, we have two venous accesses to facilitate two uh, sheets from the groin. Uh, so on the right Shiva, femoral vein, that's a very have, good. Uh, uh, let us uh, take one yep. or two points from the floor and other moderators from other side before you. What is your plan? Yes. So. Yep. You, you may be having a very quick picture of 3D, no? Do you have that? You are going to show. 3D. Uh, Pramod, you can, Pramod, yeah. you can show. Why that. I ask 3D? Several times this 2D, sometimes you think that one device is sufficient or the, the device overlap and all. 3D will show you the area actually, yeah, especially in multiple ASTs. For a single AST, I don't think it is going to be useful. Multiple ASTs. Do you have any question, Bhavish, Rita? Any any questions uh, from the floor? Any, any questions, uh, so there are no questions. You are uh, you can uh, go ahead with your plan. Yeah. Uh, so do Dr. Pramod is now getting the uh, the 3D on fast view. One of the problem about 3D on fast view of uh, atrial septum is if the septum is very thick, it gives attractive images. If it is a thin floppy septum. It gives very uh, faint images which are not uh, extremely good. But uh, Pramod is now increasing the gains in order to get uh, a better quality TE image. As he was uh, preparing, in the meantime, you can observe that I took my catheter into the superior vena cava, came down from the superior vena cava and walked into the first defect and I have the, uh, I have the uh, wire catheter through the first defect. We are going to do a balloon interrogation using the life tech balloon. Show the life tech balloon. Uh. But uh, Shiva, fundamental question here. Since you have two defects, uh, two are moderate. Yeah. Uh, one is 20 millimeter, another is around uh, 13 millimeter. And there is a good separation between that. There is yep. a large rim is there. In a regular routinely, we stop yep. doing a balloon interrogation for all these cases except a, a floppy rim where redundant septum, PFO, those yes. things. Here, do you really think uh, balloon occlusion is yes. going to give idea or I will? we can close the two devices like any of the single? I feel that uh, my assessment yes. is Actually, your 2D assessment yeah. is fantastic. We can go ahead with the two devices rather than maybe you can show live that is different. Yeah. But uh, from the scientific point of view, I yeah. want your opinion. Yeah, just about, uh, I, I think in the last issue of Annals of Pediatric Cardiology, Pramod Sagar, who is doing the echocardiogram, presented our experience on multiple AST devices in about 28 patients using two devices. The, uh, he, he enumerated the reasons why we do a balloon sizing. Number one, when we do a balloon sizing, we are actually occluding the first defect and we ensure that the second time we are crossing is not through the same hole and we are crossing through the second hole. Uh, otherwise, there are a small number of occasions where you will notice that we would have assumed that the first uh, wire is going through the first uh, defect and second is going through the second. But after positioning the sheath, you will recognize that both are through the first. So one of the way in which we tackle this is we first go in. So this is a sizing balloon across. We inflate the balloon till we get a waist and the moment we start seeing a waist we stop there and then we cross the second so now we are definitely sure that we will not be crossing through the same hole twice this is this is number one number two in majority of the patients where there are double asds the atrial septum is slightly floppy and hence they tend to have second second rc catheter they tend to have uh, more stretchability because the, the basic nature of a double ASD itself is because of extreme floppiness of the septum. In fact, fenestrated septums are even more floppier. Multi-fenestrated septums are even more floppier. So uh, the, the, uh, the advantage is that we will not twice cross the, uh, uh, the, the, the same defect. And number two, we'll be, we'll be able to assess the floppiness far more better. Now, I have slightly inflated and I have left it, the balloon for promote to interrogate. And in the meantime, 
I'm planning to cross. The previous defect was a little bit more inferior. So now I am trying to cross it from a little at a lower level. Our experience, uh, what I want three. to tell you is there are multiple methods. The IVC defect with uh, multi-purpose catheter, if you take and go from IVC, the posterior inferior defect can be straight away closed because you all know that uh, fetal circulation, IVC flow goes to the LA. So that's why multi-purpose catheter straight away goes there. Probably the right coronary, Jetkins right coronary will have tertiary care. It uh, doesn't allow you to go. Second is the inflated balloon. Yeah. It is not that uh, only across the defect. It is in the area also. It prevents uh, sometimes your catheter to go through the desired defect. So what we practice, our center is this kind of, I agree with Shiva totally that balloons are important when you have close by and what he is demonstrating also is perfect. So the alternative methods, you go from SVC and then cross the anterior superior, go from IVC and cross that may be reasonably good alternative to the, what the methods are being demonstrated today. I, uh, I cannot disagree at all with you, Nageshwar. Your, your points are, you are quite valid. An, a large inflated balloon within the uh, right atrium is going to be a space occupying lesion in the right atrium and try to prevent us from engaging. But the points that uh, we did not want to double cross the same defect and that, and, and number two is, it gives you a slight idea about the floppiness of the septum. Now, what I have, is a second wire, probably through the second uh, place. Uh, Pramod, can you can you uh, yes, go to your 60 degree view, open out the two defects and find out. I'm going to put in a second balloon into the second defect now. Can, did you show the life tech uh, sizing balloon for the audience? The, uh, can this, you this go to fluoroscopy, a little bit uh, LAO angulation so that uh, two wires can be separated. In anterior posterior projection, it looks yes. uh, overlap. So people may see that uh, two wires are to be separated, anterior superior and posterior inferior. If you change the fluoroscopic angle. Yes, I will. I, I, I will. I will just do that now. I'm uh, getting my sizing balloon inside. The moment I get it, <coughs> fluoroscopy to LAO. Promote that the. the the fluoroscopy yes, is yes, moving yes, to LAO. Yes, Adjust your T probes. Is this a 34 millimeter? Now there are three sizing balloons available from uh, Life Tech. I think 18, 24, and uh, 34 or 36. 34. Even, uh, <laughs> we yeah, 20, 24 and. So 24 and 34, I am aware of. Yeah, 18 also. Uh, 18. 20, life tech. 18 is oh, there okay. we use. Press there. Press there. Yeah, we that's a nice, uh, nice, nice fluoroscopy. Balloon. It's a wonderful fluoroscopy view. We can uh, definitely see separation of the two wires. Uh, Sushil has got <laughs> Aspirate, ma? I wanted to ask, my question is related to the sizing of the... Uh, Defect. Do you size primarily based on the echo or do you uh, use the based on the fluoroscopy or e the echo, echo. T after balloon operation? Echo, echo is the primary one. But, uh, I e saw echo uh, is the primary mode of uh, checking. But I saw somebody uh, e measuring echo the Echo is the primary the mode in our out. The you don't uh, waste also will measure. Shiva, what is the rational using a second we'll, balloon? We'll, we'll measure the way. Shiva? Shiva. Now I'll, I'll show you. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm, yeah, I'm hearing you, Jai Ranganath. Ah, yeah. Now what is the rational? I mean, Jai Ranganath, are you able to hear me? Yeah. yeah. First balloon is fine that your all concepts are very good that we also do at times, that's most of the times. So the second balloon, is there any rationale of using because the audience would like to know. Uh, when you already uh, have some idea. The two points. Points, yeah. Slightly, slightly take out the TE probe. The, I, I initially mentioned that. Uh, the the two reasons why we do a uh, record this one uh, measure this uh, the two two reasons why I men mentioned was number one is to avoid crossing the second defect and number two 
majority of the secondum ASDs are across floppy septum and hence they may be larger than what you anticipate on transesophageal. The largest dimension that we got in the transesophageal for a superior defect was 19 and for an inferior defect was uh, 12. So here we just want to reconfirm that we are not, uh, we are not uh, having, this looks smaller, promote the, okay, okay, actually there was a, there was a, I think stickiness of this balloon, let me, what is the size of the balloon, second I balloon? have to pull 34. out, what is the size of the balloon, 34, the second balloon actually I wanted 24, but ah. it was 34, yeah, it looks big, just, just, ah. little bit above, big. little, little bit above, little bit. In the presence of floppy septum, don't you think this uh, balloon sizing would be little more over than the uh, size on the team? Uh, but uh, but that will be that will be the that will only give the stability, no, Shushil. If suppose if I have a little floppy septum and I I have a size of 12 and I target my device for a 12, and unfortunately if that floppiness of the septum is not supporting my device and the device later slips through. That is the purpose of the uh, interrogation itself. Measure this second one, measure the first one. We are taking out both. Pram uh, Pramod, now I am yes, including sir. both. Can you confirm that there is no third defect? Yes, sir. This is the third purpose of a sizing balloon. Yeah, 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 a good number of the patients who have multiple ASDs may have a third ASD which will be invisible in the first echocardiographic assessment. No, uh, can you show in the 90 degrees across? because the entire heart is occupied by two balloon. We can't see the entire septum. Can you show in the multiple views 90 degrees? Pramod, 90 degree color now. Yeah, 90 degree now. Color because what color. happened? We have and bigger balloons and than the yes, anticipated sizes, the 34 and. Uh, 24 probably that yeah. could be pull the out, reason. Pull out a superior vena cava. Yes. So pull out a superior vena cava. Yeah. Now, the, now go, go inside. That's the right upper pulmonary vein. Go, go yeah. right, little rightward. Get the superior vena cava. Yeah. Yes. You are now in the superior vena cava. Now just to push the cable, in, uh, push the, yeah. Now rightward and leftward rotate. We are not finding a very significant blue color across so we assume that these are the only two defects. Now my, my uh, left femoral sheath is going through uh, the smaller defects which I am going to deflate now. Just to get me a 10 French life tech sheath on the left groin. While, while uh, one of my colleague is measuring the uh, waist of both the balloons, I am exchanging it to two sheets. So while the first and second purpose of the si sizing balloons across both the defects is to avoid the second crossing as well as assess the floppiness of the septum, after inflating both, the third purpose is to exclude a third ASD. Uh, Pramod has written an article in the APC on uh, experience in closing secondum ASDs using multiple devices in about 25 patients of whom seven were pediatric and, and uh, uh, 18 were adults and what were the, in fact there were two paragraphs that he has dedicated for balloon interrogation and where he describes what is the rationale of balloon interrogation. Uh, can I have one bowl of water for an underwater seal? I have with me Dr. Alka who is, uh, who is a uh, second year uh, fellow and uh, now we are seeing blue color which is because of the deflation of the balloon. We are de-airing the first balloon. Since the patient is on positive pressure ventilation, the chances of air embolism is relatively less in this particular patient than Can you please in a patient focus who on probably the spontaneous Focus the de-airing please. Focus the camera, the bigger screen on the... the camera, camera come down? Yeah. Fluoroscopy small and hands bigger size. Fluoroscopy small and hands bigger size. Hands bigger. Yeah, we can see the de airing. Do you routine? So what As is? Uh, As. Uh, yeah. So what is? So the wire is uh, still across and uh, de airing. So the the chuck wall may not work properly. In that case. What What is the size of the sheath? Check, we have used. Yeah. The, what is the, the sheath which you use? 
10 10 French life tech sheets sister take out the wire of this uh, that wire yeah slowly take it out as she takes out I am slowly inflate uh, injecting saline just stop sister the major advantage is uh, patient is uh, ventilated is, uh, so that's why air embolism yes. chances are so less so all ASTs I think you should have good yes. hydration positive pressure ventilation uh, should be there and also preferably you should do in the morning as the day advances uh, the RA pressure will go yes. low then uh, the you will have air embolism so yeah. it's a good idea what Shokumar is doing uh, first case in the morning hearing properly and uh, positive pressure ventilation is yeah extremely important points Nageshwar whatever you have told uh, now we have taken out the balloon through this second wire we are putting in the second life tech uh, So do you sizes have you decided sizes have you decided see basically the the echo size was 19 and 12 what is the fluoro sizes show me the fluoro sizes I, 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 while I was putting in the sheets uh, somebody was measuring and uh, the flu the fluoroscopy does not come to me because uh, okay one is 24 just one second I will show you now after I put in the sheet Very quick point, uh, do you routinely use uh, the braided sheets or you use uh, cooks mullen sheet as well sometimes? Quite a lot of time we will use a cook mullen sheet. Quite a lot of means maybe 90% of the time. Okay. Sir, Bhavik here, sir. I had a question, uh, this uh, sizing balloon, you are yep, advancing, yep. advancing through the seat or directly through the groin without the seat? Through the sheet. It was a 10 French sheet. 10 French short sheet, which 10 French we will be using as the loader finally. Another question, sir, since he is uh, 48 so again, years, uh, are you uh, planning to take LVDP yeah. uh, baseline as well as uh, post procedure or not? And coronary angio, these two things, sir. We, 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 will, we will do it. RA pressure was quite low, so I assume LA pressure is also low, and so the LVD will be low. I have an arterial line. Once I get my. Uh, Devices across, then I will be checking uh, the EDP. Sister, wire out, sister. The, if, if the patient is having a high RA pressure, when I am advancing the catheter into the, uh, into the right heart, if the right atrial pressure is high, automatically left atrial pressure is high. And if the left atrial pressure is high, there is a strong indication that the left ventricular end diastolic pressure may be high. So if the RA pressure is very low, the the LA pressure is low and the LVED is also likely to be low. So this is the, this is the logic behind the, the initial presumption about is the patient likely to have a restrictive LV physiology or no LV physiology. It's very surprising to see a patient who is having an RA pressure of 1, 2 and 3 having a restrictive LV physiology. Okay, now we have two sheets across. So uh, sister, our pigtail catheter, we are, uh, uh, what is the, can, can you now show me the uh, balloon sizes? I think one was 23.5 with the 19 what we got was 23.5. Show the measurement. Okay, one was, one was 24, 23.55 or 24. The second one, show the second measurement. Okay, he is measuring live. Good morning, sir. Return, That's 10 yes, millimeter. No, take, take inner to inner 10. Inner to inner is 10. Yeah, correct. Inner to inner is 10. Yeah, Dr. Rita, you had a question? Uh, sir, on the 2D after you did the balloon sizing, were you still able to appreciate a posterior rim, sir? It looked small in the initial, uh, uh, I mean, Actually, the, 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 inferior, uh, the inferiorly located AS, yeah, the inferior ASD does not have a margin, uh, very good margin in the posterior inferior part. Yes, sir. And so, uh, we, but, but we feel that all the other margins are adequate that it will get anchored. Sure, we'll sir. see. We'll put the device and then we'll see. Sure, right, sir. 
Shiva uh, Dr. Bhavesh here. Pramod, have you measured? Dr. Yeah, Dr. Bhavesh. Yeah. And from your 25, 28 patients of multiple ASDs with the balloon sizing, did you find any equation where uh, you can have idea about that the size is nearly 25, 30 percent larger when we use the balloon? Some equations are there? More or less like that, uh, Bhavesh. More, yeah. more, more or less like that. In, in general, like it is something like around 25 percent higher. So, did you find it is yeah. same like a native single uh, ASD? Did you find it is same like a native single ASD? Uh, there are there are a few patients who have uh, completely gone very 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 big. For example, where we measured on echo a 18 millimeter, and finally we ended up putting 30 device. Oh. In fact, on a couple of patients in that article we have described, uh, yeah, a patient who was having a 20 millimeter hole, we decided to put in a 26 millimeter device. The 26 millimeter device embolizes, but then on balloon sizing, the actual the diameter, the balloon stretched diameter was 28, and for, so we decided that. We will go more by the echocardiogram and we are adding plus six, but that was not adequate. Uh, so finally, we ended up in, uh, in uh, yeah, that embolized device had to be retrieved and then we upsized it to 30 millimeter. So, uh, so what we decided was use, a double, use balloon in every patient with a double ASD. Now you see that the second picture is 12 millimeter. So a 12 millimeter inferior defect, I want a 14 millimeter life tech ASD device. 14, one, four. Show the device to the audience and give me the device fast. Shiva, do you suggest to use the balloon in a patient with uh, a floppy, a floppy uh, a a septum floppy and a single defect? Uh, ah, no, no, that we don't use it, Bhavesh. Actually, I, I strongly agree with uh, Nageshwar. We, uh, we have completely come out of uh, balloon sizing for a routine case. The cases where we do a balloon sizing are, number one is this double ASD where we do it always. Number two, in patients where we expect a restrictive LV physiology. Number three, in a patient in whom we expect a yeah, elevation of the RA pressure due to either hypoplasia of the right heart or due to pulmonary stenosis. Actually, we are running short of time now. So let me make it little faster. Alka, the smaller device is on the left side, right? So now I am, I am taking the smaller Keep the second device ready. I want a 24 device. It was a, it was a 24 uh, size, right? So give me a 26 device on the top. So I am upsizing by around two, milli, two millimeters for the lower defect. Pramod, you are showing me the echo. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I want, yeah, 60 degree. That's fine. Track my device. No, I want, okay, zero degree, zero, correct, yeah. If you want, you can tracking. change the fluoroscopy to P AP view, we, we, we are okay with that, maybe. You are happy? Maybe. Okay, please yeah. come to AP view. Yeah, I, I understand that a little bit I, of a my, 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 my working plan will be always AP view. No, no, I, that particular I, time I, I wanted to show, demonstrate to you by that separation. Now it's fine, you can work in AP. Okay. Because you, you can have okay, better now orientation. Show me the, uh, give me a, uh, Pramod, Pramod, check yes, on the device. Uh, but why did you deploy? Can you take uh, out the? Probably you can take other device and uh, simultaneously with the, most of the times you, you also demonstrated some of the live workshops in the past. Yeah, the, the, the intention in a small device versus a large device is, I try to sandwich the large device. Uh, I try to sandwich the small device with the large device. So uh, here the intention will be to get the LA disc of the larger device on the left side and the RA disc of the large device on the right side. So uh, I'm now getting the second. Pramod, you are happy about the yes, sir, yes, sir. edges? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Okay, now show me, I am coming for the next device, go okay. to zero degree. So the LA disc Make of smaller. anterior so superior, that is 24 device is being deployed in the LA and then uh, catching the uh, disc, sandwiching that. Pramod, show me left side little bit, yes, sir. left side. 
uh, now unsheathing of uh, the bigger one. Uh, I scan, I scan, I scan and reduce the gains. The device is prolapsing the uh, aortic margin. So, I will take it inside. Uh, if you go to 45 degrees of fluoroscopy, uh, uh, sorry, echocardiogram. Yeah, that's uh, a very sorry, nice. Yeah, that's a very uh, nice. It's prolapsing, uh, uh, Nagesh. Yeah, I can see that. Can you, uh, Shiva? Yeah. So now, can you anchor it somewhere. Let, let, let somewhere. me rapidly deploy. Or else you deploy and yeah, no, that's right. Uh, I have deployed. deployed. Mid delay portion. Uh, you can restore keep. this. That's a nice okay. uh, rapid maneuver. Nice, uh, what uh, Dr. Shukumar has done, rapid maneuver. No, I'll show you the. I you don't tug it. You deploy and the LA disc in the mid LA before to the septa one rapidly deploy. The RA disc will support the LA disc. RA disc will prevent the prolapse of You can show that to fluoroscopy and explain, Shiva, what you have done. Yeah, it is, uh, yeah, it is being shown, Pramod. Uh, uh, Nagishwar, it's being shown again and again. Yes. What I did is being shown. Yes, yes. So you can see uh, that AP view. Yes. The larger so defect, the LA disc Pramod, is yes, yes, yes. Zero. Now, okay. Right. Hmm. Yes, sir. So now Zero. Pramod is uh, Pramod is showing the overlapping part of the two devices. Color now, Pramod. Yes, sir. That okay. probably so the, we can we are see seeing better in uh, 90 uh, degrees uh, or 45. Uh, Pramod, you can go T little yeah, bit. Yeah, he's uh, okay. Yeah, he is yeah, now changing the angle. Beautiful. Yeah, this is the it's yeah. it is not it is not it is not sandwiching because the devices are little apart from each other, not yeah, very the close inter, to each other. Inter uh, defect yeah, septal the inter is long. Uh, it's a good action. Yeah, I'm hearing the bell. So so probably I think I'm running out of time now. But so, uh, deployed uh, very nicely. Happy, can I release? You can release. Yeah, I'm uh, the yeah. Show the left ventricular end diastolic pressure, LV EDP bigger. We have two minutes of time. We have two minutes. Beautiful case, sir. Thank yeah. you so L much. For the uh, Babish? Case, sir. Yes, sir. It looks Thank nice. you. Thank you. The, the LV ED is marginally on the higher side. It is coming to almost around 18 to 20. But we need to remember that the patient is on positive pressure ventilation, which itself will increase the end diastolic pressure a small amount, like around 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury. Because positive pressure ventilation tends to increase the intrathoracic pressures and leads to an increase in the end diastolic pressures. So we are confident that we will be able to get her out uh, without any Pramod, go to need 90 degrees. for leaving behind a fenestration. Pramod, go to 90 degrees. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now rightward and leftward rotate, Pramod. Keep on rotating rightward. Yeah. Now you have gone leftward. Yes, sir. So go right. right. Sir, uh, further, further. Further. The now color, I'm able to see that. Yeah, Bavik. Device through the inferior defect, you often see that angulation which we are not usually uh, 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 not comfortable to see that inferior uh, device. It looks at particular angle, so it looks like ah. it's not sitting properly. But actually, sure actually now, 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 now he is uh, he is focusing on the inferior defect completely. Color now the inferior defect. Okay. The moment I release the uh, the uh, cable, uh, then probably it will fall in place. Right, the case, the case he's saying very sick, so we'll have to move to Dr. Varakan. So you can release fast so that we can move. Yes, sir. Okay. Now I have released. Now Pramod, show the echo. The yeah, that's a beautiful demonstration of uh, multiple uh, defects uh, by Dr. Shokumar and his team, Dr. Pramod Devirbadi. Wonderful. Uh, I think with the interest of time, we'll uh, move to other center because patient is sick. Maybe when you come to second case, we may ask a question, Shiva. Is it okay for you? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine, pra pra uh, pra yes, but Nageshwar, we have completed the procedure. We, uh, yeah. we are now showing the echo. I think, uh, I think, please go to Dr. Yeah. Varakan. Yeah, Abdul, absolutely fine. Uh, give him a big yeah, hand. Actually. Actually. So very nice. Great job, Shiva. Great job. Okay, great job, please Shiva. move to great the next job. set.